Det er måske ikke alle, der vil kunne ikke genkende til navnet Bellatar, men i overvis har den ungarske instruktør stået bag nogle af de mest unikke, dristige og udfordrende europæiske film, som især er kendt for deres lange, dvælende skud, som har det med enten at indgyde stor beundring eller stor frustration hos tilskueren. Bellatars faste fotograf, Fred Kellerman, slog smut forbi årets Copenhagen Pix, som viste tre film fra 1990'erne, som Kellerman selv har instrueret. Fælles for Kellermans film er, at de er dystopiske og nihilistiske. Han har selv engang sagt, håb er ikke et begreb, som jeg arbejder med. Og det kan mærkes i de på en gang triste, men også så del stemningsfulde og gribende film, hvor jeg i tre af dem blev vist på festivalen Fate, Frost og Nightfall, som henholdsvis er fra 1994, 97 og 99. I think every screening of a film you made is, uh, is an important uh, event because films are made for uh, for being visible. So uh, I'm always happy if uh, any place uh, is showing the films. With the films uh, I try to to articulate something and I think what I articulated in the films uh, is still um, uh, relevant and I still um, um, think it's nothing what is um, from the past and not uh, important anymore. So I think it's still something which is uh, very much connected to uh, to the presence. Just like in in the movies that you've done with with Bellatari, you're you're very much famous for these uh, very um, reflecting and and also uh, long lingering image, the lingering beautiful image. What is it that you find so usable about that? As I said, I'm uh, first I'm very fascinated of the of the movement, any kind of movement, and uh, it's also a reason why I like music because music moves in time. The sound moves in time, and the film is uh, basically uh, uh, images moving in time. And um, I never um, was very interested in uh, dynamizing um, uh, a scene by editing, but to uh, to create the rhythm by uh, by the movement, by the movement of the camera, the movement of the actors, and to find this kind of flow which uh, takes you also through a, through a certain uh, mood, through an atmosphere, through a, a thoughts for example through uh, changes of thought so there's also the the element of um, there's an evolutionary element in it so one image somehow provokes the next one like one thought provokes the other one and I'm very much interested in finding this kind of flow which leads us um, somewhere where somebody I don't know where it leads us but I'm very curious where it leads us and um, I'm also uh, believing in, in time and I think uh, Uh, and the phenomena of time is very interesting and uh, in opposite to, uh, that's for me a very interesting point, in opposite to our normal uh, experience um, where we uh, have the feeling that uh, the location is real, the objects are real, they're three-dimensional, we can touch them, we can uh, we understand spaces as something as very real. And time is a little more irreal, it's a little surreal. Sometimes uh, one minute can be very long or very short, you know, you can have You can experience an hour uh, like a very short moment, or like an endless, uh, 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 never-ending uh, eternity. It depends uh, what you do, how you are concentrated, and so on and so on. So we have the feeling that time is very difficult to grasp, very difficult to understand. But in film, I have the feeling the opposite is the case, because uh, film is a two-dimensional thing. You have the flat screen, the three-dimension is, uh, is an illusion, more or less. And uh, but the time is real. So what you really experience when you watch a film is time, and not space, because the space is uh, like in a like in a painting, for example, it's for sure an illusion. So it's just the reverse of our um, normal experience, and that's something very interesting. And uh, I try to uh, maybe I try to find somehow the secret of of time, and I believe in this uh, in the. In the duration of moments and uh, of, on, on the possibility to discover something if you look to something long enough. It's like uh, giving a very short uh, look to a, let's say to a tree and you can easily say it's a birch tree. But uh, you don't experience a tree if you just uh, get the information what it is. But if you look a little longer and longer maybe it starts to change. Maybe it's not just what you think it is. Maybe you start to see the life on the stream. Maybe you start to um, uh, understand more than just uh, how the tree is called. You know, so we, and I think to, to, to understand more about life, we have to go um, through the uh, uh, simple understanding of what is around us. We have to break the categories. 
and uh, when you go through the categories, when you go through the uh, 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 um, um, pretension of understanding, maybe then the real understanding starts. Or if you look to somebody long enough, you start to discover more and more. Or if you go to a darker room with a low light, in the first moment you don't see much. But if you have the courage to stay, and if you have the patience to look longer and longer, slowly you start to see in the darkness. Slowly you start to uh, 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 not to be blind anymore. But it needs time. If you would just uh, look into a dark room for a moment and leave, you would have the impression it was just darkness. But if you look longer enough, you will understand that there was m much more than darkness. So I think uh, we need the patience to look. Bela knows uh, as well, um, like others, that the main uh, 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 language of the film uh, is a visual language. The film is a visual art. And um, he knows this. And, uh, and that's why his films are based on the images and not on, uh, on words, for example. And um, we know each other for a long time, and um, um, yeah, we are close to each other, so it's easy to work together. For every film you have to fight, and for some films you have to fight longer, for some films you have to fight less long, but uh, each of these films, for example, are really uh, the result of fighting it through and putting it into reality, because uh, it's, uh, whenever you want to create something, you have, you have a lot of ab obstacles. And um, we have somehow to conquer these obstacles. Husk at du kan finde alle vores tidligere films TV udsendelser på films under films TV fanebladet og også på videovideo.dk i iTunes og via vores gratis video video app.